The natural beauty of the Philippines is known all over the world, but we have seen how our breathtaking landscapes and seascapes have been ravaged and neglected by people and by circumstances in a reckless pursuit of development. In our fragile earth, we visit places in the country declared as protected areas and sanctuaries. In these places, we discover interesting stories of brave and enlightened minds who work together to conserve and protect what remains of our dwindling biodiversity. Today, we look at two majestic havens in the Western Visayas region, beginning with the Northwest Panay Peninsula Natural Park. Amid the comforting chirp of birds hovering over trees by the rivers of Panay, the daily grind of forest creatures carry on, as it has for many centuries. Hosting the few remaining intact forests within the island, the Northwest Panay Peninsula Natural Park is the best hope for the survival of highly endangered species and inhabitants of Western Visayas. Sixth among the largest islands of the country, Panay is geopolitically divided into four provinces, Aklan, Antique, Capiz, and Iloilo. On the upper half is the Northwest Panay Peninsula, covering Aklan and Antique. Here is where we find the most extensive and best quality lowland forests, a top priority site for conservation. The Northwest Panay Peninsula Natural Park is a very important resource sa tinatawag nating Boruanga Peninsula, which is composed of five municipalities. Tatlo yung sa Aklan, that is Nabas, Malay, Boruanga. Dalawa yung sa Antique, which is uh, Libertad and Pandan. So nasa gitna yung uh, PA natin, or NPPNP. Officially declared a protected area by virtue of Presidential Proclamation 186. The Northwest Panay Peninsula Natural Park is now classified National Park pursuant to the NIPAS Act as amended by the expanded NIPAS Act of 2018. It is home to diverse endemic species of flora and fauna. Here you will find the Visayan leopard cat, the Visayan warty pig, the spotted deer, the Negros Bleeding Heart Dove, the Blue-Naped Parrot, the Visayan Hornbill, and Walden's Hornbill, and the Panay Monitor Lizard. Ang isang flagship na species namin dito na parang dito na identify which is endemic is the Baranos Mabitang. Hectares of old growth forests survive in the area, including tall, undisturbed, Dipterocarps, lower montane and bamboo forests. These constitute some of the last relatively intact watershed systems in Western Visayas. May mga caves tayo dito. May mga marami tayong mga streams at saka rivers. At yung kamangamangha siguro yung forest cover. No? May mga time na kung nandoon ka na sa loob, makikita mo yung mga malalaking kahoy. 
mga may mga ferns na malalaki at kung minsan mayroon kang makikita na mga insects na ngayon mo pala makita di ba so it's really exciting when you are a nature lover to trick inside the northwest parang dito mo na lang po makikita yung mga endemic at endangered species tulad na lang po ng mga uh, tinatawag nila dito bangkalawag batiti Tsaka hindi lang po yun, napakarami po ng mga halaman dito na masasabi natin na dito mo, mo na lang talaga makikita at dito, dito na lang, ito na lang ang tanging lugar na hindi pa, hindi pa nakakalbo at kung makikita mo po pag pumunta ka rito, kakaibang klima dito, malamig compare mo pa kung pumunta ka doon ng bandang south. As an important watershed, the forests within the natural park channel the water from the rains into a system of springs and rivers that provide water for over 100,000 inhabitants. Water for Boracay Island and the hundreds of thousands of tourists that visit there every year is provided by the Northwest Panay watershed. Yung tubig ng Boracay galing po sa Northwest Panay. Pinapump yun ng, ng mga water uh, ano, uh, companies papunta ng isla. So without this Northwest Panay, wala po tubig yung Boracay. Like many of the country's natural parks, major threats that confront Northwest Panay's existence come in the form of habitat destruction due to over-exploitation of lumber resources. Una-una, uh conversion ng lupa mula sa kakahuyan, ginagawa nilang agricultural land, cuttings or uh, girdling, tsaka hunting, yung hindi maiwasan po, yung dinadayo ng taga-ibang barangay na hindi naman na-orient, pumapasok na hindi naman natin mabantayan lahat. Yun po ang na-encounter namin tuwing magpapatrol kami. Diyan po sa isa isang barangay, mag establish kami ng 2 kilometers transit lane. Diyan kami nag-observe ng iba't ibang flora at fauna. Tsaka meron po yan dalawang hektarya na uh, observation area. Diyan namin ino-observe yung kung ano, anong oras pumupunta dyan ang karamihan na tirik, karamihan na hornbill, o iba't iba, iba't iba uri pa po ng mga ibon. Within the last decade, however, illegal logging in the area had become well organized, with operators using silencers on their chainsaws, employing local informants at strategic points to warn them of approaching officials. Maraming ano dito, mga illegal uh, laggers as they, they call it, or poachers, no? May mga chainsaws sila, tapos uh, yung hanap buhay nila ay magputol ng kahoy. But, uh, the impact of climate change na feel na nila itong climate change na nangyari sa atin ngayon. So there was a drastic change sa kanilang hanap buhay. Alam niyo po ngayon, sila ay hindi na timber poachers. Sila na po ang ina-hire ni DNR na magtanim ng kahoy at saka mag-grow ng seedlings. At saka yung isang maganda pa nilang ginawa, nag-form sila ng isang kooperatiba. Isa po itong nakita kong successful story namin na itong mga grupo na ito from illegal things na ginagawa na nakaka-affect ng PA natin, nagiging positive yung nangyari. Dito po sa Butong Kalibugan Tribe, bilang po ng barangay ngayon, ay pinagbabawal ko po talaga na magputol ng mga kahoy sa bundok Kasi isa po yung nakos ng flooding, pagbaha. At yung ating mga taga DNR naman, ay may mga programa po sila dito na nagpapatanim ng mga puno sa bundok. At yan naman po ay suportado ng mga tribo na mga nakatira po dito sa Butong Kalibugan Tribe. Pinakamabuting paraan para makonserve, mapa, maminimize o totally ma-eliminate yung mga illegal activities Ano talaga eh, dapat may continuous talaga na education or ipaintindi mo talaga sa kanila kung ano ba, kaila, bakit kailangan na hindi mo putulin yung puno. Ideally, the close coordination among local and national institutions involved in the protection of the area is spearheaded 
by the Protected Area Management Board or the PAMBI, as well as councils like the Northwest Panay Biodiversity Management Council. Uh, kuminsan nagka-class kayo ng ideas within the board. But at the end of the day, you have to settle down and uh, move forward kung saan ba tayo papunta. Sabihin natin, when it comes to extractive activities, no-no yan sa loob ng pambi. Uh, tapos, ang pwede lang doon, yung mga sustainable na gawain. Stakeholders within the locality are the first to be involved in livelihood projects and activities. Sila po ay binibigyan po namin ng livelihood program gaya ng boko pie making, papaya pickles making, and banana chips making. Yan po ay tinuturo po namin sa kanila at binibigyan po namin ng initial capital through po sa pagbibigay po ng mga gamit para po pag-umpisa po ng kanilang livelihood program. Tapos po, mayroon po kaming information campaign sa bawat barangay po. Transforming the park and its nearby attractions into ecotourism destinations is now a priority. Kami dito sa Nabas na side with the establishment of the wind farm which is now a attracting uh, local even foreign tourists. Gusto ko i-integrate yung uh, protected area as additional uh, destination. Itong itong ecotourism dapat in principle ano lang punta ka lang doon sa loob ng forest you just uh, enjoy the place the scenery and what you see but you should not take anything and leave anything there especially yung basura nyo While the need to implement disaster risk reduction measures has moved inhabitants and stakeholders to protect the park what remains to be seen is a sustained effort to protect it from bigger, foreboding threats like commercial mining, outside the park's confines, and continuous animal poaching. Pag wala na po itong Northwest Panay Peninsula, hindi na po natin makikita yung uh, lalong-lalo na yung mga huling henerasyon. O uh, baka makikita na lang nila pangalan na lang ng kahoy sa libro, hindi na nila makikita yung aktual tulad ng mga lawaan, yung mga binanggit ko kanina. Eh, pag gusto, pag may mga huling henerasyon, wala na. Pag hindi natin naikukonserve ito, tulad ng mga uh, baboy ramo, sa libro na lang nila makikita. O, eh, nga, dito, makikita pa natin yan dito sa Northwest Panay Peninsula. Today, at the heart of the Northwest Panay Peninsula Natural Park, the biggest hope lies in the concerted efforts of enlightened inhabitants and the strong political will of its passionate leaders. This is not a one-person crusade. This is a crusade of all the people, of all the stakeholders in the area. At the end of the day, masasabi ko siguro, ang tao dapat maprovide ng local government ng sapat na pangangailangan para hindi na sila pumunta sa bundok. With much pride, I welcome you to my home province of Antique. Let us take a closer look at one of our precious natural treasures. This is the Sibalom Natural Park. Water is life, a resource that is vital to all industries. Water is central to economic activity and growth. Every day, its significant role in sustaining life is appreciated, protected, and celebrated within the protected area of the Sibalum Natural Park in Antique. Spanning over 5,500 hectares of rice lands, the Sibalum Natural Park is nature's gift to the people of Antique. Situated around the watershed area of the Tipuluan and Mauit rivers, 
The park is located some 36 kilometers from Antica's provincial capital, San Jose de Buenavista. Classified as a forest reserve in earlier decades, it soon gained the spotlight as Antica's prime natural park. The Cibalo Mauit River was declared a watershed before. Then it was only in year 2000 that uh, President Era Pestrada proclaimed the more than 5,000 hectares as Cibalo Natural Park. Waters from the tributaries of the Sibalom River irrigate farmlands and provide drinking water to neighboring towns and villages. Yung isa sa mga precious na resources ng Sibalom Natural Park being the watershed area is yung source of water. Ito yung pangunahing pinanggagalingan ng tubig natin na nag-i-irrigate dun sa various na municipalities. Yung Sibalom kasi is the rice granary of the province of Antique. So yung mga neighboring municipalities like Hamtik, Bilison, Patnongon, San Remeo, San Jose, and some other barangays. Aside from being a watershed, the park is a rich habitat of highly valued flora and fauna species endemic to Panay Island. Yung natural resources natin, makikita is yung big five uh, endemic species na nasa conservation uh, threats natin. We have the Visayan warty pig, we have the Visayan spotted deer, we have the Tariktik hornbill, we have the Varanos mabitang, and the wild dense hornbill. The park plays a critical role as a corridor between two important bird areas in the island the Northwest Panay Peninsula Natural Park, and the Central Panay Mountain. A host of endemic bird species like the Negros Bleeding Heart and the Visayan Hornbill make the park their breeding ground. We have two kinds of lawaan dito. We have the red lawaan and the white lawaan. Yung isa sa pinakasikat na species dito is yung the discovery of Rafflesia speciosa. Isa sa pinakaunang Rafflesia na discover was dito sa Sibalom nakita. And uh, makikita natin sa logo, kahit sa logo nga ng province of Antique, doon makikita yung Rafflesia speciosa. While reforestation efforts by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources have been in place for decades, much of the secondary forest areas host a number of wildlife that remains undocumented. Dito sa secondary forest, saka sa dito sa primary forest, yung makikita natin yan, malalaking mga puno ng kahoy na more than 100 years na yung iba. Dito sa gilid nito is dyan very rich sa makukulay na mga bato na tinatawag namin sa may precious stones or gemstones sa iba. Dito natin makikita yung semi-precious gemstones. We have the jade, we have the jasper, we have also the church, the onyx, agate, at iba pa po. Nire-reproduce po nila yun, ginagawang gemstone tree, pang uh, souvenir doon po sa mga bisita natin. Gusto namin ma-protect ito, kasama na ng, ng buong Maui River, yung local government unit ay nag-propose na dapat magiging natural heritage po ito. So yung ecotourism facility natin, isa yun sa nagiging preparation ng Sibalom Natural Park to be one of the ecotourism destinations. Pag intact na yung lahat ng facilities natin, we have the collection of entrance fees, we have the tour guiding fees, we have the different activities na makikita sa loob ng park. Ini-involve talaga yung community, yung barangays na malapit sa Sibalom Natural Park. Kahit sa mga proyekto na binibigay namin, halimbawa yung reforestation, Sila na yung mga tao dito yung kinukuha para magtanim, tapos sila din yung kinukuha para bantayan, pero binabayaran na. In the long run, kapag magiging okay or sustainable yung ecotourism industry sa Antique, especially dito sa Sibalom Natural Park, sila din yung maka-benefit nun. From a year 2011, by in the advent of the National Greening Program, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng various na projects dito sa Sibalom Natural Park. We have the plantation ng coffee, we have the plantation ng rattan. We have also the plantation ng mga timber sa mga iba pang punong kahoy. We have also the bamboo sa uh, ibang barangay. Kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, tree planting activity doon sa ating protected area. At the same time, uh, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, uh, sweldo doon sa mga people's organization natin. Undeniably, the sustainability of the park's ecosystem is threatened by many challenges, including the unregulated cutting of timber and the gathering of non-timber products within the protected area. 
we have experienced some uh, timber poaching no? and this is because uh, the area is not yet uh, properly delineated. The area uh, is surrounded by private lands, we call it uh, alienable and disposable lands, wherein some of these uh, species, especially uh, mahogany planted in the private lands, are also uh, grown within the boundary of this natural park. One of our uh, target activity uh, with the uh, approval of uh, INAI Pass, we need to uh, delineate this uh, area so that once and for all, all the stakeholders surrounding this uh, Sibalom Natural Park ay alam nila kung saan yung boundary nila. Yung ibang mga bantay gubat natin sa ibang barangays is dati nag sila. Because of various uh, information education drive ng ating government, they turned out to be our uh, volunteers sa pag-protect at conserve ng ating uh, natural resources, especially dito sa natural park. Kaya ngayon, hindi na natin problema yung pag -hunt, kasi yung dating hunters na nag-iiligal, ngayon, they turned to be bantay gubat na volunteers natin. Nagpapatrol po sila sa covered ng Sibalom Natural Park or, or SNP para situate that walang illegal activities na ginagawa. So, medyo mayroon din po ang kanilang mga ginagawa. Yung binggit pa yata, yun ang kinakunan nila na bark na ginagamit na pang spark ng fuel. Considering na ito yung mga livelihood nila, yung furniture maker, ito yung tinitingnan namin na isang biggest threat. Kasi pag hindi namin uh, pinupush yung tinatawag nating regulation of planted and uh, naturally grown at hindi nila maintindihan, ito ay patuloy nilang gagawin. Hindi natin may iwasan na kumukunti na lang yung potable water natin. Tapos yung mga presence ng uh, flora and fauna sa change din ng uh, climate natin, unti-unti na silang nawawala. Hindi na sila makaka-adapt doon sa dati nilang uh, nature na kinagisnan. Hindi na sila mag exist Kahit sa pag-reproduce nila, hindi na sila nakakapag-reproduce dahil nga doon sa pagbago ng ating klima. In the face of man-made destruction and natural hazards, there is an urgent need to protect the biological wealth within the Sibalom Natural Park. Because across the globe, water is fast becoming a scarce resource. I will pick na lang yung isang quote na isang, ng isang sikat na author na sabi nila, if the conservation of nature goes wrong, nothing else will go right. Together, they must realize that the forest and the waters within it sustain lives. More importantly, they should be given a chance to actively take part in caring for the park. Uh, ngayon, dinidevelop ni, ano, ni Paso yung tinatawag nating uh, ano, social media. Uh, dito sa Sibalom Natural Park, mayroong mga taga Sibalom na migrated sa US na gustong mag-donate kahit man lang activities na ma-develop yung Sibalom Natural Park. We ano, develop and uh, create a mini arboretum wherein uh, all uh, species planted in one area are composed of these premium species. Hope springs forth where the waters meet. If key sectors are able to seize opportunities to work together, nothing can stop the waters from flowing and giving life to enlightened residents protecting Antiques Sibalom Natural Park. Pride of place is a key ingredient in developing one's love and respect for a natural environment. When you and I take a stand in protecting our land and our waters, when we go beyond our business as usual attitudes and begin to make a difference, we become our country's source of pride. It's our turn to take a stand. Our fragile earth is in our hands.